Hello everyone and good morning. <clears throat> uh, today I want to quickly show us uh, some trading strategy that we can use with uh, Agent Pro software. Uh, I I know that not all of us have been trading with Agent. I've started trading with Agent Pro software. Yeah, I intentionally structure the training program like that. Before you start leveraging your effort on uh, aging trading software, I want you to have preliminary understanding and the foundation of how to analyze markets, how to understand how markets behave before you start using a tool that will be helping you to edge the market. Because if you go straight to the aging software, you will not be able to understand the basic concept and all your knowledge will be based on shallow foundation. Uh, some of us that have already started using aging software, please, uh, this strategy, you can use it uh, with aging trading software as well. But... Um, as time goes on, all of us will start using aging trading software. Like I used to say, patient is the key. Now, let me quickly go straight to what I intending to show us today. This is an empty platform. There's no chat. There's nothing because there's nothing to trade for now. So I'm just using this plat. I mean, this uh, chart to make uh, illustration and training for training purposes. Yeah. So uh, we go to. A, we go to a website then we i want to tell uh because i have some of my students already in trading fundamentals that is why i want to compare a lot of things this morning with themselves so that you understand why i prefer technical trading more than fundamentals because many times in fundamentals uh chart which we are normally use, which is Forex Factory. Forex Factory will tell us there's no news, but that doesn't mean we are we can make money in the market. Um, this is 9:46 a.m. South African time. If you look at it uh, here, it doesn't correct. Uh, in South Africa, we are two minutes past ten. If you want to know more detail about this, please go and watch my tutorial on. Um, what we call uh, uh, time zone. So time zone is already being explained. If you are just joining us and some people come in uh, after this class, uh, you need to watch time zone. So everything has been explained and you need to watch how to trade fundamentals, how to set this thing, everything has been there. So now this is 10, uh, 2 past 10 a.m. South African time. I need to save this so that my calendar can sync with my computer. And you can see that it has synced with my computer. So I quickly go to calendar and I want to see what is going to happen today. Today is July 22. Then I click on July 22 because I am interested on today alone, which is Wednesday. And you can see 3 a.m. or Australia dollars uh, news has come out, which is a uh, medium impact. And now Canadian dollars 2 p.m. today, which is medium impact as well. And uh, so, um, USD is 4 p.m., which is in crude oil industry, which is a medium impact. So we can see that if we are not very careful, we may not trade today if we depend everything on uh, fundamentals. Now I need to go to another site called investing.com. These are the, all the tools you can use to understand how you are going to position yourself in the market. Okay, now we are already in London open market because this past day, 10 o'clock is London market in South Africa. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but if you look at what we are looking at it, what we are looking at here, uh, if you look at the overview here, it will tell us a lot of things that uh, actually I don't want you to bother yourself about all this. What I want us to bother ourselves about is technical. Let's go to get technical. And this is a technical. And already we know that during a particular zone, we must trade a currency that is tradable in that zone. London zone, we know that we only consider pounds and we consider euro. These are the two currencies that are very viable during this time zone. 
So you can't be trading Japanese yen with uh, USD in London market because Japanese yen market has closed. Uh, US mar USD market, which is uh, US market, has not yet opened. So if at all you want to trade USD, you must pair it with London market, which is either euro or pounds. If you want to trade Japanese yen, you must pair it with pounds USD. I mean pounds Japanese yen or euro Japanese yen. That one make a little bit sense. Okay. Now the new site I need to uh, tell us about today is what we call financial visual visualization site. This site is very very informative for especially for technical trader. Now if you look at investing.com. We said technical trading, okay? Now we, we we pick technical option, and it's going to tell us what as what is happening in technical uh, mode. Then we go to what we call fin financial veins, which is financial visualization. This site, uh, I normally put it in one hour to see which direction market want to go, and we are going to compare in everything. If you look at here, we can see that pounds. At this time around, everything we are trading must be pounds and euro, must be paired with pounds and euro because this is London market. We saw that pounds is very, very weak here. You can see it's very, very weak. Now, if you look at shelf, it's a little bit up, but this strength is not okay for us. It's not okay for us, but let's go and see what is going to happen in pounds, shelf, pounds and shelf pay. Now we come to investing.com first and we look at pounds and chef history. Let's go to uh, market, uh, market, uh, we call to currency. Um, let me first of all go. So actually, we are not reckon, we are not reckon with fundamentals today because we can see that there's nothing that we can trade here so now let me go to i want to check i want to check chef pounds usd from uh investing.com already we have seen it in uh, what do we call it okay let's let me yeah good let's see pounds chef this pounds chef let's click on it and uh, three months, one day, <clears throat> we need one hour to do our analysis. And you see, pounds, Swiss, France. So now, what can we say about pounds, Swiss? Uh, we, we need technical. Eh? Remember, we click technical. Good. You can see everything is telling us to sell. Moving average, momentum oscillation, trend oscillation, volatility. And if you look at this technical, something strong sell. That's what is telling us is advising us strong sir. So and what did FinCell tell us? It's telling us that pounds is very weak. Chef, you can see Chef has changed the place and Australian dollar has take the, took up the place. So, but that doesn't matter. What matter is what are we trading with pounds? We quickly need to grab this opportunity in the market. So now. Uh, let's go to the web. I mean, to the trading platform and see Chef. Now we quickly come here. We search minor pounds Chef. We are looking. This is a pounds Chef. We click on it. We open it up. Make our screen clear. Uh, we have tutorial on this on the video on my on my video channel. You can go and watch it. And we want to make everything look nice, isn't it? We want to make everything look nice. There's a template. You can go and check out to make a template. Now, good. Look at what is happening. Here. You can see that because pounds is weak from our, you see, pounds is very weak. So, uh, what is chef? Chef is here. US is USD is here. So you can see USD, chef, and U uh, and Australian dollar. We can only trade them uh, against pounds at this level because you can see that this okay USD has dropped, but you can see US, uh, Australian dollar chef. But what we are dealing with now is chef power against US dollar. Then we are going to check Australian dollar, US dollar as well. 
So, and what would we see? What would we see here in a uh, investing.com? Investing.com sell us all the ten analysis said is a strong sell. It's a strong sell. So now let's go back to our chart. You can see what has been happening is selling. You can see it's selling. This one has already advised us which direction the market is going. So look at it. It's selling since uh let's put let me try to put uh what we call uh separators in this you can see this is midnight that market open you can see is once usd is selling now let's try to check um let me receive this because i need the let me receive it as a template. Then uh, I will keep on using it instead of going back. I will let me put it as USD, uh, Renko, what, what. Yeah, then I'm saving it. Now, when we go back here, when we, that is about pounds chef. Now, let's go here again. Let's look at, uh, let me go back to, uh, I want to check all the peers again. Now, pounds USD. You have a pounds Australian dollar. Because we can see from fin, fin set, you can see pounds <coughs> Australian dollar has fell. Again, chef is moving. It's rotating between USD, I mean Australian dollar and pounds. But let's check it here. What is it's telling us? You see this uh, pounds Australian dollar. And we want to look at technical aspect of it. What is technical aspect of it is telling us. Look at it here as well. The sentiment is strong selling. Technically, it's strong selling. Let's let, let's check the sentiment here. What the sentiment say is strong buying, but technical analysis say strong selling. You see, there's no a particular tools, no single tools we can use in forest market to determine what which direction we are going to go but the one that is well um uh well proven is the one we are going to follow but by the time we are using edging software edging software now will make everything simplify for us but i don't want us to do edging software immediately now i want us to understand we need to understand how to analyze markets ourselves you know now you can see uh, past you past euro us euro, uh, past australian dollar tells us it's a strong sell now let's go to the trading platform to go and confirm that now we need to open a chart of pounds usd i mean pounds uh australian dollar this pounds australian dollar this is a chart let's put our template on it which is this what did we see since the opening of the market today, pounds Australian dollars is what is selling. So you can imagine if you understand all these concepts, you can see what you can make in forex market. You don't need too much analysis. You don't need too much tools. You just need to understand what we are looking for. Now we can see that these two charts, uh, these two uh, technical analysis from two big sites, is helping us to know the direction to go because now you can see how deep pounds is losing value and we are going to pair it with all the other ones that are strong we put strong against weak and it will tell us it will show us an accurate direction and couple with all this to do confirmation with direction to go in the market i think we understand this if any one of us did not understand this, please, you can uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one, uh, section with me so that I can explain again. Don't rush. Do all these things. Practicalize all these things until you understand. The time is coming where you'll be clicking buy and sell, where you'll be putting your money in the market. Now is a knowledge time. Take it accurately and take it deeply before you start risking your fund. Thank you until we meet in the next video uh, tutorial. Bye-bye for now.